Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 6, A Promise. Throw those cookies into the garbage. You are all coming with me. Will we go to jail? Well, run guys. It's no time to argue. Run and disperse. Stop right there! Your friends escaped, but you didn't. You're coming with me. It's a relief to know you're always there to give my daughter advice. She's the mother she doesn't have. I know you'll take care of her. I feel horrible for not telling him about Archie and Gio. By the way, was you here earlier? No, and now that you mention it, I think you should know that... The neighbors saw Gio and the kids at the train station. They've been arrested. What? I did what you asked. But two of the kids managed to run away. They probably hid in the port alley. Send someone for them. You can count on that, Victor. Make sure they spend the night in prison. That will teach them. Whatever you say. Where is my daughter, Giovanna Upaldi? Where is she? She was arrested for selling cookies in the street. You are arrested her for selling cookies, you dirty cop. Her and two other young kids. You need a permit to do that. Why don't you arrest the neighborhood thieves instead? Those poor kids just want to earn some money. Those poor kids are the neighborhood thieves, sir. Do you know anything about this? Well, I'll tell you everything then. Well, yet yeah, they are good kids. I'm helping them find a way out of the street. What? They steal from us and you go and help them? And you let my daughter run around with them? I'm sorry I lied to you, but I don't regret having helped with them. If you just give them a chance, you'll see that... I don't intend to give them anything. My daughter is innocent. She's a victim of those criminals. I came here to get her and I will not leave without her. Calm down sir, it's not that easy. We have to do some paperwork first. It'll take a couple of hours. Do your job, cop. Damn cops, I thought we were safe in that hideout. Who will get us out of here now? Victor always saves us, but he doesn't even know we are here. Yes, he I feel like such an idiot. You are an idiot. I escaped the police so many times and now I'm caught for selling cookies. Don't worry, Gio. I'll take care of you. I'm sorry you were caught with us. You know what? Being by your side, I'm not scared. I don't know why, but just looking at you makes me feel safe. Yes, they're coming for us. They're going to let us out. I'm th I thought we'd never leave this place. Don't get your hopes up. Only Giovanna Ubaldi is leaving. What? Her father came to get her. Where's your father? No, we're all leaving together or I'm not going anywhere. Don't try to play the heroine now, kid. You're the only one without a record. That's why we're letting you go. You're not like them. What? They might have done things that are wrong. But they only did it to survive. Don't give up, guys. I'll be back to get you. Don't promise things that aren't gonna happen. Your father will make sure you don't come near us again. Alright, enough. Come with me, miss. Are you scared? The night is even more terrifying. Did you hear that? We can't stay here.
I was so worried about you, kid. We'll talk about this at home. Come on, Giovanna. I don't want to stay here a minute longer. Can I see the kids? Impossible. You need authorization from court. From Judge Robinson, to be exact. Well, don't you know who I am, you dirty cop? Don't you know who I am? Don't you recognize my face from television? I was a judge and host on Super Chef, and my receipt book is a success. I don't think you'd like to have television cameras in here, would you? No, yes, I mean, whatever you say. Good, we're beginning to understand each other. So, step aside. Did you come to get us out? Thank you so much. Oh guys, I'm sorry, but I don't see how I could do that right now. I don't want to spend the night here. Do something, please. There's a man next door just keeps screaming. We've been arrested a thousand times, but we've never spent a night in jail. Stop whining, such is life period. Today you're in, tomorrow you're out. Hey, be careful with how you talk to her. Maybe she just realized there's better than this. Who are you to give us order, anyway? Take your place or face the consequences. Your threats don't scare me. Enough, please. Don't fight. This is getting out of hand. Well, I'm gonna give them hand. Comfort, Flora. Calm down, Flora. Look me in the eyes. I will do everything in my power to get you out of here today. I promise? Of course, sweetheart. You have my word. Just take care of the boys. Try to keep them from killing each other. I'll do that. I'll do all I can. But it won't be easy. Bye, guys. I promise to be back soon. Well, if they kill each other, make sure Archie won. Honey, I have so much to tell you. Come with me to see Judge Robinson. They were just selling cookies. They weren't hurting anyone. I'm trying to help them get off the streets. And this is not helping. What you're doing for them is admirable. But don't waste your time. Those kids are a lost, a lost case. Excuse me? All they do is rob. They don't know any better. It's best to keep them locked in. I've let them go before. Not this time though. They're staying behind bars. Well, I won't. Yeah, you're wrong. As a judge, you should help them. All they need is for someone to believe in them and give them a chance. You're so naive, dear. So moving. Get yourself an another hobby. Those kids will rot in jail. Yes, my hobby is cooking. So you're reading when reading when I feel your voice. I uh someone led it to me. I just read a few pages. My boyfriend wrote that. Really? It's hypnotic. A total page turner. I almost lost a hearing today because of it. Tell me about your boyfriend. What it what inspired him? You could ask him in person if you want. He's outside waiting for me. Wow, really? I'm dying to meet him. The sun is going down and this is getting creepier by the minute. Don't worry, I'm here to take care of you. You are? You don't look too confident yourself. I'm sad about Gio. Her father will never let me come near her again. You like her that much, do you? Yes, Flora. I like her a lot. I trust that Katie will get us out of here. It's the only thing that's keep me standing right now. You're just so naive sometimes. Did anyone except Victor ever keep their promise to us? Oh, I think not.
Adam, this is Josh Robinson. Josh Robinson, this is Adam, the writer. The writer of the century. That's a bit much. Not at all. You deserve all the honors, my dear. I hadn't read such a captivating book in ages. Your protagonist, Paula, is she real? She's so intriguing. I'm glad you like my book. As for Paula, a writer never reveals his sources of inspiration. So is he real or not? What am I thinking? That's not what matters now. I understand, Adam. I never tell who my informants are either. Excuse me, I have to take a call. Honey, that thing about not revealing my sources was such idea. It seems like people are always more attracted to ambiguity. I think it worked with the judge. That judge is fascinated with you. Why don't you use your charms to make her release those kids? I gave Flora my word, please. Only you can achieve this. Where were we, dear? We are about to convince you to release those kids out of jail. What do you say, judge? Would you leave us alone for a second, honey? Oh, sure. Take all the time you want. I love to talk with my fans because you are a fan, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. That couch scene? It must have been real. Tell me the truth. How much does Fred resemble you? I leave all that to my readers' imagination. And we readers have a lot of fantasies. What do you think about the teen character? Your opinion would be very useful to me. Don't you think he's kind of like Archie? Now that you mention it, maybe. I mean, they're both rebels. Exactly. I think you've done a good reading of the book, Your Honor. Oh, just call me Mabel. You want the cut scene to you? That would be a good title for a novel. Simply Mabel. I, it would be about an impeccable, implacable judge with a soft side like you. I would die if you wrote that. I feel like you've known me all my life. A judge has to follow her heart sometimes. You're going to free those kids, right, Mabel? You're going to give them another chance. I don't know. It's complicated. If you can't do it for them, do it for me, for the cutscene. How could I resist such a request? You'd be a great lawyer, Adam. Could you sign the book for me? I'll write an unforgettable message for you. But first tell me, what will you do with those kids? Thank you, honey. I'm so glad those kids will get out tonight. I went mad with when the judge said they were a lost case. I'm going to fight for them harder than ever now. I knew you'd come. Thank you so much. I would have died if I had to spend the night here. I always knew you would keep your promise. Thank you, Katie. You're doing too much for us. Well, what's your problem? What happened was horrible. But at least now, you know you can trust me. And to celebrate, I want to invite you to have dinner at Mary's. Wow, that's what I call a complete twist. Those pork ribs were delicious. And the puree. I hadn't eaten so much yummy food in a long time. You eat Victor food. Do you have anything to say, Noah? It was okay. I would have put more sauce on it. And the puree? Sorry. But I like it creamier. Noah is ready to become a super chef judge. Sure, there always have to be a bad guy in there. Very good observation, Noah. 
not just anyone will dare to, cor to correct a chef like that. Oh, and the portion was too small. Do you want some more? You can have all you want. Guys, thank goodness. I look for you everywhere. I ran to the police station as soon as I heard what happened. Where do you hear that? They told me you were here. Katie got us out of there. And I will be eternally grateful to you for that. But they have to come with me now. Archie, Flora, Noah, let's go. Well, they won't going anywhere with you again, sir. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.